Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Up to this point, as far as blacksmithing goes, you've seen us do all sorts of projects. From a couple different anvil builds, to attempting to build our own fly press, to actually blacksmithing and making a couple little beginner projects. At this point in our blacksmithing, we realize that we need a press. However, they're pretty expensive. So the most affordable alternative was to take a small hydraulic press like this log splitter and convert it. So in its current configuration, the log splitter is obviously meant to split logs. This pointy boy pushes against the log that sits against this flat boy and it splits the log. We don't want that though. We want a forging press. So in order to do that, we're gonna add dies that way you have two flat or bent or drawn or whatever the case surfaces pressing against the steel. Another thing, we don't want to have to go into prone every time we use this thing. So we're also going to weld on a stand to, oh, <laughs> to lift it up. Okay, so we took off the unnecessary stuff that we don't need. And next up, we're going to attach four legs, weld two here, bolt two back here, and then attach metal dies so that we don't have these contacts, we have flat pieces of contact. Okay, legs are on her. She's sturdy. It's just about the same exact height as our anvil, which is really nice. Uh, next up, let's get these things covered. Alrighty, so we're getting the first die together. We're going to cut a V-notch in this so that this will slide back onto this piece and we can weld that in here. And that'll be most of this side. This side's stationary. The other side is the side that moves when you operate it. So we're gonna have another piece here. It's gonna leave, I don't know, six inch gap or so in the middle, enough for some dies and whatever work piece uh, that we want to squish. You might be wondering why, when I mean, we're welding the legs on this thing, why don't we just weld these dies onto it? Well, we might someday maybe want to use it as a log splitter. We do have logs to cut down. In this configuration, it's removable, albeit a little tight, but we can still use it as an ordinary log splitter if we need to. And then when we want a blacksmith, good to go. Okay, so we got our V cut. And if it's good enough, we'll fill all that in with weld, no issues. Uh, just a warning on personal protective equipment. I switched to the apron because uh, in the middle of grinding that, I burned a damn hole in my shirt. <laughs> so uh, yeah, be careful. Please sure. Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! It's a log splitter. Damn. And here she is. We got the dies in place with their little die holders. Super simple. They just drop right in. So you can replace these with different shaped dies for different applications. But this is the basic setup. So right now we have our forge going. We're letting that heat up. But then we're going to show you guys how well it squishes.
So for our first run, it did pretty well. Uh, it crushed the steel much more than we could have crushed it off of one heat with a hammer. And it's actually pretty impressive uh, how much force this thing really delivers. If you notice, this took two of us to operate. I was holding the steel while my dad was operating the controls. In the future, the next thing we're going to do is put a pedal on it that both operates a momentary switch and pulls the hydraulic lever. What that will do is allow you to hold your billet while operating the foot switch and the same person can operate the entire thing at once. So if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And in the future, we'll be putting this thing to the test with some abuse once it has a pedal on. Thank you.